one small community is struggling to come to grips with a tragedy. Hundreds of people gathered last night north of Toronto to remember four family members killed in a house fire. And now officials are asking what, if anything, could have prevented their deaths. Arthi Pohl has the latest. Neighbours console one another, still in shock that four members of one family are all dead. The community as a whole is just shattered. Jennifer Dunsmere, her husband Kevin and their teen sons Cameron and Robert were all in the home early Friday when it went up in flames. Their eldest son was away at university. He's now the sole surviving member of the family. Well, we're still in shock. We couldn't believe it when we heard it yesterday. And uh, it's why comes to mind, like, or how, or I don't know. Many have questions. Did firefighters get there fast enough? With a population of more than 25,000, the town has a primarily volunteer firefighting department. When the first 911 call came in, there were just a few firefighters at the station. The first truck arrived here about 12 minutes later, but not soon enough to rescue the family. Well, we have a Today, the fire chief, Ken Beckett, says if the department had been fully staffed, crews would have been there in half the time. It would have been, uh, decreased the response time probably by five minutes. With a volunteer service, firefighters are paged and first have to get to the station before heading to the scene. Beckett says he's been pushing to expand the town's fire service. Now there's a greater sense of urgency. Uh, certainly a lot of discussions on full-time. Uh, the hiring of full-time firefighters has started uh, to ramp up as our population starts to grow. Some believe if there were more crews on the ground, this tragic scene may never have occurred. Might have made a difference. I mean, no one will ever know for sure, but it would, certainly wouldn't have hurt. The investigation into the cause of the fire continues as the community struggles with this tremendous loss. Arthi Pohl, CBC News, Sharon, Ontario.